Hello everybody and welcome to the first qualifying review for the 2019 24 Hours of Le Mans, the 87th running of this greatest race on the planet. We're in France, more specifically, we're at Le Mans, the Circuit de la Sars, for the 2019 running of the Le Mans 24 Hour. And what a circuit it is as well, just over 13 and a half kilometers, with the most famous names in motorsport, the Dunlop, the S's, Teleologia, the Bull Sands, the Michelin Chicane, Indianapolis, Arnage, and the Porsche Curves. Well, welcome everyone to our second program of the weekend. It is the first qualifying session as we head into the night for the Le Mans 24 hour qualifying. As you see, it's a very tough course. Just looking at the track map, it's even more tricky to drive it both in the day and the night. To show you a track guide, I took around the RS16 from the Audi Sport LMP1 car on the world's most realistic simulator. Yes, it's Gran Turismo Sport. Here is a lap of Le Mans, the Circuit de la South. <coughs> Let's take a look then around this Circuit de la Sars. Then on board in the 2016 Audi LMP1 car, the RS016. Coming out of the last corner, four wheel drive provides some lack of drive out of the last corner, but start the clock up now towards the Dunlop curve at turn one, 50 a corner. Immediately hard on the brakes coming into the Dunlop chicane, down to second gear, ride the curves hard. A little bit of power, you allow a little bit of oversteer as you come down now towards the S's. Fourth gear, fifth gear, drop down to third. Get the car on the banking part of the track. Come up now towards Terra Roggia at eighth gear. Drop down fourth gear now. And nice and wide at the exit as you head down the Mulsanne straight for the first time. Don't forget, it's not the original Morsan straight because now they have got the two chicanes, the Forza chicane followed by the Michelin chicane. You're in sixth gear, over 200 miles an hour, down the Morsan, you've got a break, and down to third gear for the first of the chicane. Hard on the brake, drop down third gear into the Forza chic uh, chicane, just flick the car in, left, right, up, right, down, go. Again, fourth gear, fifth gear, and then just wait for the car to rise up to sixth gear. Already a minute and 15 seconds have passed as you're already hurling down the back straight. Coming now. This one is very tricky. To them. As you come down now, brake hard. Second gear now into the Michelin chicane, heading down to the Molsan corner. Rise again, fourth gear, fifth gear. Sixth gear coming up, you can feel the car almost bumping down the straight as you go offline just a little bit. The car immediately wants to flick you into the wall. You're doing so much to control it. I just have to flick the car at the same time of heavy braking down into the Mulsanne corner into second gear. Round now down into the other half of the track that I like. Down to 18 and 19th part of the track. You're coming full throttle into turn 20 and 21 as you approach Indianapolis. Watch, it's already in sixth gear. Now you've just got to keep the car pinned straight and hope that you don't fly off into a wall. You've seen that happen a number of times. Flick the car, brake hard, coming into Indianapolis. It's a banked corner, hence the name. Second gear. By the time you're already in fourth gear, you've got to hold it there because you hit the brakes down the first gear hard into Arnage. The car doing what it did in the last chicane, just pushing the four-wheel drive out. You can't, you can't turn and accelerate at the same time. The car will just go straight with it being four-wheel drive. Coming up now towards the Porsche curves. Turns 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29, believe it or not. Down, fourth gear. Just touch the curve as much as possible. Now, through the fast Porsche S. They've moved the barrier back since this game was developed, but already fifth gear. You can ride much more speed. You've got to drop to fourth at the second part of the Porsche curve. Coming down now into fifth gear. Sixth gear. Just hold fifth gear. Don't pull sixth as you've got to brake hard now into second gear, coming into the four chicanes. Ride the curb. This is the trickiest part of the track, surprisingly, the last chicane. 
And across the line, third gear, fourth gear, and across in a 329.042. What a lap. It's very tricky, Circuit de la Sars. Right, let's get straight into the qualifying report then and the first segment of three, two hours to take part and two hours to set your provisional best and the all-important night lap qualifiers, which you must complete before being able to go into Le Mans 24 hours. It was a two-hour session, took place between 10 o'clock and midnight and it was the Toyota Kazoo Racing, which had the fastest time in the first session, uh, a three minutes, 17.161. Definitely not the quickest time because we've seen a 3.14.7.9 one as the original uh, lap record. Kami Kobayashi set that two years ago in a Toyota. But uh, Kobayashi did set the fastest time here today in the number 7 Toyota TSO 50 Hybrid. So 3.17.161. Remember that one. The Russian privateer team of SMP Racing that were second at the 6 hours Silverstone a few uh, races ago. Uh, the only race so far this year won by a privateer team of the LMP1s, of course, because Toyota's cars got disqualified. What a race that was to cover live when we were at Silverstone, for those of you who watched that. SMP, as I said, were second. The number 17 BR Engineering BR1 car, just 0.472 seconds behind the leading Toyota when Re with the Rebellion Racing, uh, the beautiful art cars that they've got this year. The, uh, the number one is the black base car with the artwork around, and number three, the white base car with the multicolors around as well so um some wonderful cars from rebellion the art cars they're calling them uh they were third quickest as well the rebellion and number three uh, the rs13 uh making it to two privateer lmp1 cars in the top three uh, however, there was a bit of drama as we take away the LMP1 results because with 45 minutes to go of the session, uh, it was a bit of drama as the number 31 Dragon Speed car spun down at the Ford Chicane and the number 7 Toyota, the provisional pole sitter, under the command of Mike Conway at the time, came through, didn't notice the double-waved yellow flags, to be fair, we didn't spot them either on the commentary, and... Uh, the uh, stop to the front came. The Toyota collided with the stationary car. The damage incurred saw the cars return to the pits for repairs. And but miraculously, both teams were able to make it back out on track before the session ended. But Mike Conway also received a three-minute stop hold uh, suspended unless anything happens again. So that would have cost him three minutes in the race, remember, uh, a three-minute stop hold. And we know how bad that can be over a 24-hour race. We've seen races lost but just by seconds uh, in the past here at the 24. Uh, Spoon at the LMP2 times now because despite the incident, it was Dragon Speed fastest in LMP2 qualifying with a time of 3 minutes 26.852. Just 0.131 uh, seconds ahead of the number 36 uh, Scientech uh, Alpine Matmut uh, A470 Gibson. Uh, the American squad, United Autosports, who is confirmed to be joining the FIA World Endurance Championship for the 2019-2020 Super Season, uh, starting off at Silverstone in August-September time, was the third fastest. Uh, the Fords pipped Aston Martin in the uh, to post uh, the fastest time in the LM GTE Pro category. Just 1.32 seconds separated the top eight cars in the GTE Pro class at the end of tonight's qualifying session. But it was Harry Tinkernel uh, in the number seven in the number 67 uh, Ford Chimp Ganassi. Uh, US, uh, UK team, sorry, uh, that picked the Aston Martin Racing's Alex Lynn uh, to the post in the session's closing stages, a time of 3 minute 49.530. Uh, Lynn led the majority of the field uh, for Q1, but the hugely competitive nature of the uh, GTE Pro category saw the number 91, poor, uh, number 91 Aston Martin Vantage AMR drop to third, just 0 0.062 ahead of the number 91 Porsche 911 RSR, uh, belonging to the Porsche GT team. Surprise, surprise. And in the GT and class, it was a Porsche 1, 
two, three, with the number 88 Dempsey Proton Racing, uh, 9.11 RSR fastest, time is 3 minutes 52.454, it was at nearly 3 tenths of a second fastest than the Team Project 1 in a similar car, the, nine, uh, the Porsche 9.11 RSR, third fastest was Dempsey Proton's second WEC entry, the number 77 car, making a hugely successful qualifying session for the team, and of course we already know Dempsey Proton Racing are the GTE AM winners as well and all we've got to really settle here is LMP1 and 2 and Pro. Well we already know who the LMP1 team's champions are that was decided last time out at Spa six hours uh, with Toyota winning it again but this is still a hugely important weekend it is the super season finale for the Le Mans 24 hour as well so do join us we'll be back tonight at 8.30 uh, p.m for coverage of the second qualifying report. From us all here though, it's bye for now.